Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, I didn't realize that there are so many people out there who are hurting. I didn't realize that there are so many young people who have been victimized to such a degree that, you know, we think we live in a lustful society. But there are people out there that are really crying out for help and they don't know where to get the help because churches don't address these issues. Churches don't minister to these problems. They want to minister to the easy stuff. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't chew, don't hang with those that do. But they're not dealing with the inner workings of brokenness, of woundedness, of damage. And unless we address these things, they it will be permanent damage. You have got to go to God for yourself. You have got to, because you may not find people in your life that will deal with this stuff. Some of you, like me, have been raped, molested. Others of you have been raped and molested by the same sex. Some of you have been, have been verbally abused, like me. Some of you have dealt with extreme levels of rejection. And some of you have been bullied. Then there are others of you who have self-medicated through food, through drugs, through alcohol, and through pornography. You have self-medicated through gambling. See, <laughs> that's why the Bible calls it being sin sick. Sin sick means that there are people who are so, so damaged and, 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 beaten down by so many abuses that, I mean, listen, I used to work at a job where I saw this little four-year-old girl, four years old, pretty long hair, tousled, hanging in her face. She looked like a used up woman sexually used up sex was her identity it was written all over her four years old institutionalized in a child center that dealt with disturbed children they were disturbed because they were sexually molested raped they were beaten they were abandoned. They were neglected. The list goes on. And the problem is to this day the beat goes on. Because there are still people out there being treated like animals. And we wonder why this world is going to hell in a handbasket. Some of it is because we're not addressing the damage that society is doing to these kids so the kids become adults and the adults who are now an effect of what was caused when they were little become a cause and they in turn do damage to other young people and then those young people are victims and they are an effect of what the older people have caused and then they grow up and they create other victims because hurting people hurt people and it is a vicious cycle we have got to start ministering to the hurting we have got to let everyone know no matter how dark no matter how bad do you remember the movie Sybil 
I couldn't believe somebody could do that to a child. But listen, listen. I'll get it together in a minute. Schizophrenia. All these different mental, emotional, and psychological issues. Bipolarism. All of this. You know what bipolarism is? It's nothing but rage. From pushing stuff in. We have got to start addressing the hurts. And if there's nobody out there that's helping you, you've got to go to God for this. You have got to go to God. I am a witness that God will heal. hate to cry. I always look so ugly when I cry. But listen, you have got to go to God the healer. He is the lifter up of our head. He heals the broken hearted. God. See, what we don't realize, we listen to the scripture that says, it is not his will that any should perish. But here's the sad part. Many of you are perishing in your hurts. Many of you are perishing in your memories. You're perishing. You're withering away because there's nobody to help you navigate through the pain. You're not to deal with pain management. God is able to remove the pain. See, when I try to get people to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, I don't see Jesus as saving us just from sin, saving us from hell. I see Jesus as saving us from ourselves, saving us from the crap that happened in our past. He can deliver. He can free you. He can even help you get to understand what makes you tick. And why? <sighs> okay. I'm going to stop. I'm about to fall apart here at the seams. But I ask you to please go to God for your healing. Accept Jesus in your heart as your Lord and Savior. Repent for the parts you have played. And your sins, whatever, your lifestyles. But... Go to God. He is the only one who can make you whole. He can solidify you. He will validate you. He will love you. He will restore you. He will rejuvenate you. He, Oh my goodness, he will heal you. He will heal you. And set you free. You don't have to live with, with, what do you call those things? Cufflings. Uh, uh. You don't have to live with chains tying you down. You don't have to live with that ball and chain weighing you down and dragging behind you. You don't have to carry all those burdens on your shoulders through your, throughout your life. You don't have to live a life of confusion anymore. You don't have to live a life of anger and rage. And, and oh, come on. You don't have to do that any longer. But it takes time. It is not an overnight success. Healing takes time just like damage took time go to him see what he will do you stick with him and he won't disappoint god bless you be encouraged